Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you the power of AP Shivana in the jungle. She doesn't have many build options, however, her items are in a decent spot right now. Nash is quite a bit better than it's been in a while. Having the ability haste is super, super spicy for Shivana. Since she doesn't have mana cost, having her abilities on a lower cooldown, there's absolutely no downside to it, especially with her R and her E, because that's Shivana's main source of damage is E, particularly in dragon form so i'm gonna go start my bot side for best leash possible we'll go ahead and just reset here i should have laid more towards end of reset that's fine you can go for dark harvest on shivana perfectly fine you'll get good results however going based off win rates first strike is simply stronger to hit your power spikes get penetration first strike gets you there and in, in a weird way it actually kind of outscales dark harvest as well now if you're in a team fight and it's going swimmingly it can be slightly worse because you can't apply Dark Harvest like you can with First Strike. You can only kind of use it once in a fight, but it's whatever. We'll go ahead and start with W here. We can maintain it up. You can actually kind of start with any ability on Shivana. Normally, you're going to start with W, though. You can certainly start with Q. You can start with E. You can start with W. It all works pretty well. We're going to auto attack Q reset. It's actually a little bit more common to start E and then get Q because you can apply the on hit, but no matter which ability you start, you'll find that your clear is about the same speed, so not a huge deal. Now, with that being said, we do want to max E first, W second, Q last. The only time you max Q second or first is on AD Shivana, and AD Shivana jungle hasn't been viable consistently for a very, very long time. It usually only comes into the meta for a week or two when it gets a direct buff and even then it's never really as good as AP Shivana. so we cross over 225 pretty good crossover auto attack E because we want to pull them together we'll bop it with our Q every time you auto puts your Q on a shorter cooldown I'm getting creep blocked here I'm trying to get around the small ones to reduce the damage I'm taking a little bit Shivana can go flash she can go ghost she can go ignite ignites the best as an insurance policy of if the enemy jungler invades me I can kill them if you don't have Ignite, many, many, many junglers from Lee Sin, Zin Zhao, Warwick, Graves, Kindred can just come in your jungle and just straight up kill you, which is annoying for a full clear jungler like Shivana since we need to full clear. We need to play for our level 6 power spike. Auto attack Q reset. Go ahead and smite him down. Absolute Focus Gathering Storm is the late game insurance policy on Shivana with Absolute Gathering and Robidon later on in the build. Shivana's late game is just fine. We finished around 318 with a decent amount of HP. We'll get another point in E. We'll run this guy down here. Got him with the E. Swain's not really able to follow up. Yeah, Pantheon's pretty annoying. Hecarim ganked super early on. You don't typically see that out of a Hecarim. Auto attack Q reset. Your Q counts as two autos. You can play on, on hit effects like Bork or Nasher twice with your Q. Auto Q. Might be able to do something mid. Our HP is a little on the lower side. Should be able to uh, get it if he actually steps up. It's around this time you want to reset. After your full clear, you only have time to kind of gank once and do scuttle. If you overstay, you'll be missing out on camps. And this isn't really gankable for either of them since Shivana's early ganks are not really ideal. Typically, you want to push for attack speed first to get your Q on a lower cooldown. I had a weird amount of gold. I would rather have one amp tome versus one dagger, but I'd rather obviously have two daggers over one amp tome. Just the amount of gold you have wasn't ideal. Getting Dark Seal on Shivana when you're getting close to level 6 is nice, so basically on your first back. You see Hecarim's top side. I can take this and then go grab his Raptors. I have time. I think he got Bot Scuttle though, so it's going to be a little awkward. Shivana is amazing at taking dragons because she does bonus damage against them. Yeah, I'll invade his raptors here in a second. He's going to go for his Krugs first. He just full clear up. So we'll have time to take them. Pop over to dragon and he won't necessarily expect that. Auto attack Q reset. We got W on. Get over there faster. W lasts longer if you're in combat. So if you're using auto attacks, it extends its duration quite a bit. Might actually be able to kill him with myself. Get a point in our E. I think his dash is still on cooldown for a little bit. 
Yeah, I got him with the Ignite E. I guess he figured he couldn't outrun us, so he's trying to outjuke us there. I reacted fast enough, though. That was a pretty funny juke. Renekton Dash, I believe, is 16 seconds early on. My W is only 12 seconds, so I should have been able to close distance to get him with an E Ignite. Ended up not doing my plans just because of the mid. I want to take wraps, take the plant pop over. Plant comes in at like 520, 530, and then we can solo drag. Siobhan, 20% damage against uh, dragons. So she can take dragons rapidly. That's one of the very few <laughs> good things about Shivana. Her, her upside of soloing drags and having big AoE ranged damage on her E. Her weaknesses are many. She Her first five levels are kind of throwaway. She has limited mobility. And you can only really play her AP for the most part. Get him with an E. I wanted to get him with my Q there, but I think I actually die here. Because I don't have Ignite. Oh yeah, Renekton's here. I'm just dead. And this is one of the downsides to Shyvana, is Her solo potential is rather minimal without your Ignite pre-6. If I was level 6, I can kill Hecarim. Like, for example, Hecarim has tier, does zero damage. Yes, Phase Rush, it essentially does zero damage, even on Hecarim. Uh, but we, we are going to lose that fight. It is what it is. It's just a good example of what not to do. You don't want to be fishing for random solo fights. For some reason, I thought I still had my Ignite up, even though I'd already used it. Swain proceeds to then die against the Pantheon. That's not good. Swain top is definitely viable. I don't, I'm not aware of the positive matchup, so, so I don't know if that's just a lose matchup. I'll get 6, then take drag. I might as well have R to chase someone down or to escape, plus my bot lane's resetting, so it's kind of an awkward time to grab it. Even with dying, we're still hitting level 6 around 7 minute 30. Pretty standard for Shivana. Go ahead and grab this. Auto attack Q reset. Don't mind if I do. I don't know why Jarvan just backed. Like I'm right here. Auto attack Q reset. Doing so much damage against it. When you have something marked with your E, all your auto attacks and your Qs do additional damage. Oof, Yasuo outsmited me. Feels bad. <laughs> I missed it by like 20 damage. <laughs> There's nothing for me to really gank, even though I have R up. I could go mid for Necton stays pushed. Auto attack Q reset. I actually am going to outscale he Hecarim for these fights. The current meta Hecarim builds are insanely squishy. One of my E's will half health him. Yeah, that's not gankable. They're pushing them all the way back. All right. Auto attack Q reset. I waited a half a second to get my E down before I queued there. Auto Q. Go ahead and cross over. Hecarim's waiting on that gank. It's a really awkward position to be in. As a full clear jungler, you never want to just be kind of standing and waiting. Things need to be kind of prepared for you, otherwise you're missing out on your camps. I got the red buff with that, just barely. It's so hard to do now to pull camps. You know, multi hits, spot lane proceeds to die because they're pushed. I'll go ahead and grab Herald though. Could also take the Hecarim's camps potentially. Shivana does not have a bonus against Herald, so we're not going to take this particularly fast. I kind of don't want it though because top lane Swain's hard losing. And mid lane Renekton has Pryo, so I don't know how much value we're actually going to be able to get out of laying a Herald. To get value out of Herald, you want to kill the opponent and then lay it so you can kind of take it their turret uncontested. Otherwise, they can just hit their Herald once in the back and it kind of just dies. Going to use the Smite since we have two charges. That was a bad E. I threw it over the wall. Like it, Since it slid through, he could see that if he happened to be in that spot. We'll go mid. This guy's dead. Just hit him with an RE. I kind of need to let him dash before I... E though, because I don't want him to dodge it. So we'll R, W into him, and then just kind of walk him down. I'll attack Q reset. Then we get him with our E. Oh, this is bad. I'm slowed. Yep. There it is from the Pantheon. 
Yasuo proceeds to poop his pants. But hey, at least we have Nasher and we're on Dragon Advantage. We're actually in a really good spot. I don't need to go into debt for this. There's no need. There's a lending fee of 50 gold. So if you go into debt for something, it costs you 50 gold. I don't think it actually cost me there, though, because the game knew I would have enough gold for it by the time I spawned. So it seems like it intelligently didn't charge me the plus 50 when I was like 5 gold in debt there. We got our free boots now. You don't really need to upgrade your boots on Shivana. It can actually be better to just push straight for the Night Harvester or to push straight for the... Uh, it's not even showing you here. That's so annoying. For a Cosmic Drive. Cosmic Drive gives you more ability haste and AP anyways. One annoying thing about Night Harvester is its passive is so throwaway. An extra 5 ability haste off of a complete item. You don't even notice it. We'll go Night Harvester into Cosmic. I don't have Dark Solar Mesh built, so there's no reason to go rob it on third item. It'd be pretty pointless. We want to get our, our back up from auto attacking things. It's the fastest way to get it up. Then we'll look for a gank. Ganking without R on Shivana is tedious and kind of a waste of time. Got him with the E, down he goes. Let's look to take some camps here. Oof, they're down. I still have my Ignite as well. I got him with my Ignite. But the enemies cross over, so I am dead. Wow, Vayne was really far away from following up there. She's also focusing the Blitzcrank there. She gets hit by the Jinx slow. She's moving really fast against enemy champs though, her recent passive buff. Not the best fight in the world. We'll take it though. Go cheese down dragon. Let's look for a Night Harvester into Cosmic. Actually, Cosmic is a little bit cheaper. Eh, this is... It's a tough call because I already have a full item to where Night Harvester will give functionally 30 ability haste. So. They give the same amount of ability, same amount of AP. It's just 5% movement speed versus 300 health. Plus the uh, Soul Rend might be easier to use as well. Because to get Cosmic Drive, you have to be in combat. Damaging enemy champion, three separate attacks or spells. I'm mainly just going to be hitting them with an E from range a lot of the time. So we'll go Cosmic third. You can also look to get a Shadow Flame for the penetration. That's also a decent option. Auto attack key reset. He doesn't have a control where to lay in here. I, I'm taking this rapidly. Jinx rocket so OP. I should have just art over the wall there. That's my bad. Got an E on his head. Auto attack key reset. Down he goes. Hey, Jinx. She doesn't have rocket there, so I'm not too worried about her kill potential. By spamming my Q, I'm able to keep my R up. So even against like the turret. Got Hecarim with the E there. Down he goes. That's what I was saying. Shivana in a weird way kind of counters Hecarim. Although he can out gank her early on. With current meta Hecarim builds, they're so lethality heavy. He's actually going for Divine Sunder first, which isn't really even the meta right now it's kind of interesting to see i think renek is going back mid to the yasuo i still have to be careful he might have stayed in the bush yep he goes back mid. he doesn't want to lose the turret because he could have stayed here and hovered if he kind of just went in and faked then he would have at that point seen me drag it auto attack key reset nice got jungle item finished 14 minute mark not bad we'll take it very nice. It's going to be an extra bit of true damage and slow. Actually ended up missing him with that. Dragging up in three minutes. We'll be rushing that down. Hecarim shouldn't be full item because he invested into tier two boots. I'll attack key reset. Not sure where he's at. He might be on Herald. Either way, though, we can take his camps insanely fast. Oh, I was unable to stop him. Oh, Hecarim's bot side. 
The Pantheon's not really looking to see if he's going to get dove. I have so much CS. Yeah, Shyvana clears so fast with buff Nash. They buffed Nash a patch or two ago. Feels really, really good. I don't think this dive is actually going to turn out that well, to be honest with you. Auto attack, key reset. You know, I take it back. It turned out really well. You also could have soaked another turret shot as well. Boom! Almost hit him. He dashes away. I can W speed up into him to get in range. Nice. Nearly 500 damage there. Got him again. <laughs> I love Shivana, man. It's so much fun to hit him with those E's. It's when she finally starts to pay off. Gotta make it to level 6, though. <laughs> full clear gank. Full clear gank. Emphasis on the full clear. In a perfect world, you full clear the enemy ganks, and then you steal their jungle as well. That's the most ideal. I think Ekram's collapsing on me. He's not full item yet. He's still partial. He invested in a tier 2 boots and he didn't take free boots. So I got that free income there. Free boots feel absolutely amazing. As a jungler. Jungle is very power spike based. And uh, having the free boots lets you hit it consistently. Before your opponent. Because you're already up 300 gold on them essentially. Alright we'll go in RN. My in the E, auto Q, got ignite on him. He's getting chunked down super hard. Down you go. I'll unmute him, that was pretty funny. I W a wave out of that and I'll go back to full clear in the dragon. I'm sitting on a budge load of gold. I can pick up Night Harvester, it's huge. Go for red buff here first. I generally play people muted always. The only time I don't is if I'm playing GM and higher. Because at that stage, people's callouts are actually pretty useful. But outside of that, even in masters and lower, it's very stressful with how bad people's pings and callouts are that it's easier to observe the map and grow as a player in terms of your own callouts and thought processes without other people. Warm tongue in your ear. A little Lord of the Rings reference. You get some really, really bad callouts by your teammates. Uh, yeah, I have a weird amount of gold. I guess I'll go ahead and invest in the amp time. I don't want to wait on base for 40 more gold, so I'll take the 50 gold ending fee. It's fine. I'm only doing it because I already have a full item at the stage of the game, and we're about to go into a big team fight. Whenever you're about to go into a neutral objective, like a dragon or baron, you want to have as many items as possible. So soaking the lending fee, even for something as dumb as an amp tome, is fine. These fights are what make and break the game it's not even warded me and Vayne are dumping it <laughs> Shavon is so annoying to deal with man super one dimensional character but kind of fun it's very satisfying how fast she destroys dragons with the Nash since her Q double applies the Nash on hit can I influence this? I don't think I can. In the R end of this, we get it with the slow from jungle item. I think she's dead here. Yeah, she's dead. Yeah, nice try. <laughs> I had to speed up from W. That's why I like red jungle item instead of blue. Because a lot of times you don't have bushes on shift, but you need them to be a little bit slower or you faster. And the red one slows them down when it's ready to be used you know when it's ready right there when it says 100 does a bit of true damage and also slows them helps you to catch up stay on top i don't have my r so kind of need to stay out of the firing zone pantheon's pretty fed he passed straight into me i was probably on a ward yeah i was on a ward most likely there unless he just laid that the fact that he ran there immediately means it was probably already there. Gathering Storm at 24, 20 minute mark, amazing power spike. Gathering Storm is giving 24 AP, that's more than 400 gold value. It's like almost 500 gold value right there. Zamp Tomes, 435 at 20 AP. I want this blue buff. 
I'll attack into the Q. Thank you, Vayne. I didn't realize Vayne was actually kind of fed. Oops. Oh my goodness. Does he have phase rush or something? You're dead. Oh, Pantheon didn't die. My E must have missed. Dude, I can't move. Dude, drop your R. Because I'm about to die. I'm going to take this portal and get the heck out of here. That was weird. I don't know if Pantheon Shield came up or if he flashed, but I feel like my E should have hit him there. That was wonky as heck. All right, let's push for a match because we've stacked that up, and then we'll continue the Cosmic. Once you are at 10 stack Dark Soul, it's fine to get Mesh on shit. Just position accordingly. When you have Mesh, never ever should you ever kill yourself for a kill or multi-kill. Even if it's three kills, and, but you figure you're probably going to die, don't do it. Other opportunities will present themselves where you can get a multi-kill and not die. Be patient. Patience is essential if you're going to play Mesh. If you can't play patient, just leave the Dark Sill. Mesh is a huge investment and it only pays for itself if you have at least 10 stacks because you get the extra movement speed then at 10 or more. 10% movement speed helps you get out of really bad situations. My Ian Dragon form is doing... The fireball explodes then doing additional Scorch Earth. Okay, so yeah, it does about a thousand. Got him, down he goes. Killed him in midair with my Q. I didn't even get feared. Eat on that Blitzcrank. I'm surprised these guys haven't FF'd. I'm on a gnarly power spike right now. And cut this guy off. Auto Q. Yeah, he's... Dude, you can't outrun Vayne. We'll take Baron here. They probably think they outscale because they have Jinx, but their comp's terrible. They ran full AD. Full AD comps are absolutely horrible when the enemy team has any kind of girth. We have Tank Jarvan support, Girthy Swain. If we were full squishy, they could get away with it, but Swain has double armor plus rot HP. Like, how are they going to kill that? They're not. <laughs> That's the secret. They're not going to be able to kill him. He's going to pop Zhonya's. It's going to take them like 10 seconds to kill him, even if they're focusing. Going to RN, get her with the E. She flashes, of course. Since Swain has armor, the turret's doing minimal damage. And that should be GG's. They're being stubborn, though. Although Jinx is one of the best scalers in the game. We have an answer for it, at least. It's not like she can just peck her down our team. Jarvan can close distance with his dash, then R. Two dashes, essentially. And I can reach her with my E. Shivana Dragon E way outranges Jinx autos. Got him with Ignite. Down he goes. I'm missing everything here. I should have just hit the Nexus. I'm having too much fun, though. Plus, we're about to get salt. Vayne should be able to solo it. We'll have one big team fight and then we'll end. If your rank game, like if you're actually serious about climbing and rank, you should just finish there. I wasn't in it much of a hurry. Throwing out big balls of death is <laughs> too much fun. We'll push Cosmic here. At this stage of the game, we can go for your Sorks. It seems kind of weird to bite them this late into the game. Jinx still zero magic resist. Renekton zero magic resist. Hecarim zero magic resist. It's fine. You can certainly just chill on free boots for the full duration of the game. You don't have to go tier two. It's just I had the perfect amount of gold and then they surrender. Boy, oh boy, what a game. Let's take a look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt, we had the most in the game. Looking at damage taken, we had the most in the game. And looking at runes, high value. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to part two. This time, we're up against a Zac. That is going to be a little bit more challenging in team fights because I assume he's going to have a Spirit Vistage. Their team fight comp is kind of scary. Seraphine, Tarek, Zac, and Malphite. I think we have a few answers. Tippers could take up a lot of space. Uh, get in the way, play Riley slow. 
I mean, outside of that, the team fights are going to be pretty rough. Hopefully, Camille can just sit on the split and just take up space. Early on, we're still going to full clear. You don't really invade on Shivaya early. Her invades are terrible. It's not worth it. The Iceborne ship build is viable. I don't like it, though. It's way more rewarding to play your full AP with the Absolute Gathering. Pick up a Robin on third, fourth, or fifth item. So, once again, Nash Rush. So we can Giga Solo Dragon, Shred Turrets, Shred Champs. After Nash, usually go Night Harvester into either Rabadon or Cosmic Drive because it gives so much ability haste. Go ahead and start with our E. You can start E, W, or Q. Doesn't make that much of a difference either way. E is probably slightly the best though. Let me go ahead and get my E down here, get it on cooldown, smite him out, auto attack Q reset. Taric Seraphine, you don't see that every day. I feel like you used to see stuff like that a lot more often. They've made crit items kind of scary though, being able to get infinity edge second item is, I think overloaded the AD carry role because they can go first item that gives absurd stats and utility such as Gale Force. Kraken or Shield Bow, and then second item, Infinity, and all of a sudden they have attack speed, 80, crit, and then just overloaded damage on top from the Infinity Edge. Infinity Edge was never intended to be a second item rusher, at least not in recent history. It was always meant to be a third. It's also probably why we're seeing more Yasuo Yone as well. They just rush Infinity Edge, second, <laughs> first, second item. Not first, but second. And they have 100% crit basically off that. Keep kiting her out. One more auto should do it. Auto attack Q reset. Not too worried about Zack invading me. He's low damage. Plus, I have Ignite. It's the insurance policy. I don't like using the potion super early. Because you get healed more. If you don't... Uh, like the lower health you are whenever you kill the large monster in a camp, you get more HP. So I, I like to save potion till the very end if possible. The more likely I think it is for the enemy jungler to invade me, the more likely I'm to use my potion early. Just to give myself that extra bit of HP. Looks like Irelia is warding. Camille's going to chase the Malphite a bit, gets the kill. Doesn't seem to be warded. That was a good ward by the Camille. Yeah, I don't know what this guy's doing. Auto key reset. Thanks for the word, buddy. I'm not going to fight this, obviously. I'm just waiting for Irelia to leave. She's still here. I guess they're just waiting. I'm going to W out. They're going to miss a lot off of this, though. I can tell you that. The way they played that was so messy. <laughs> Yeah, I really should have flashed for that. She could have had me there. She may not realize that I took Ignite. I have no clue why Terex here, but it's kind of messing things up. Hey, everybody. Get her with my Ignite. I'll run on out. Get down an E, and I don't die there. No clue why Camilla ran so early. Camille's full HP and she left that fight immediately. It doesn't really make any sense. She really wants to get back to lane. I got a reset. I ran out of HP. I'll be playing for Dragon on first spawn here. That Taric roam was absolutely devastating. Let's go ahead and pick up the recurve bow. We have to go into depth for it. It is what it is. Seems like... If you're borrowing less than 50 gold, it doesn't make you... Okay, we left... Okay, I see how they do that. So I only needed like 10 more gold, but since I left the fountain, that's when it puts you, puts me in debt. Interesting. Because yeah, at that point, I would have just stayed on the fountain. I only needed like 8 more gold. Interesting mechanic. I'm going to pop over the wall, get that dragon. Tarx on the Permal Realm level 3. And he's only level 3 though. What in the world? Yeah, Tarek sees me. Get my E down. Tried to run past that stun. Couldn't quite do it. 
Please finish this, Zach. Oh, I'm going to try to stay on top of the Tarek here. Auto attack Q. We need Annie to press her buttons. Auto attack Q reset. Get down to E. I really get that last auto off, but Katarina gets... It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It worked out okay, I guess. These fights are so weird, though. I don't know how the enemies are forcing it this hard. I can't afford anything, bro. I guess I'll buy Dark Seal and go into more debt. I've already had to spend 100 gold going into debt, so this rune's basically already all used up <laughs> over nothing. Boy, oh boy. Three kill Annie. How, how cool is that? That's going to be super useful having a three kill support Annie. I'll attack key reset. I will say, it's hard to take a dragon when the enemy supports perma roaming. Bot through mid. Much easier when they're actually playing lane. He's on the prowl already. Balling will actually be pretty easy to kill. They're both immobile. With the ash slows. Should be able to set up a kill. And he's super, 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 super late coming back from base. Like a 20 second gap in between her and Ash. Otherwise, I would have gone bot there. Kata just needs to fight it. Oh, never mind. It's warded. Auto and a Q reset. Camille's doing decent topside for now. It's going to get harder for her the more armor Malphite gets because it gives him more damage as well. It builds armor. Why is Kata not going in? I'm going to ignite her. I'll attack Q reset. I'm glad Kata didn't waste ignite. That's really, really good. I should have gotten my E down before the Q reset there. I want to stay for the XP because I'm really close to level 6. I have enough HP to where I'm not worried about Zach killing me with a hop over the wall. Almost got level 6 off that. I could go cheese the dragon down at this point. Zach Red just came up. He hit 6 before me. Oh my goodness. I'm hitting a really late level 6 for Shyvana. Because there's been some <laughs> clown fights in the rivers. Slowing down my clears. I'll path towards Dragon here. I'll attack Q reset. Or I'll just path into mid then go drag. Ideally we want to set up a kill before we go for it. That way it can't collapse on us. Down you go. Yeah, I'll go mid, I guess. Zach's bot side. Might have to change my plans and go bot instead. They might just take it themselves. Katarina has not an item advantage. In fact, I really is further ahead than she is. Go ahead and R out for this and the W. Get her with the E. Auto Q. Yeah, she's in trouble. Kata's going to pick that up and eat her alive. Down you go. Tarek's about to get Vision of the Bush to stop me. Eat on that Seraphine. Yeah. Looks like we stopped them from doing it. That's good. That's really, really good. It's hard to take Ocean Dragon when enemies are messing with you because every auto attack slows. I would like Dragon, though. That would be nice. Seraphine just back, so we should be able to get it if Ash and Annie come over here. How fast Shivana can take this stuff. Smite at 600. Auto attack Q. Katarina. Ooh, almost found the kill. Doesn't look like she burnt anything for it either. What are you doing, Annie? You're all the way up there. Pop him with an E. I need my R up. I can get it off this real quick. We'll head back mid lane. I really is so easy to gank when she's pushing. She has nowhere to dash to. There's no minions. All the minions are unreachable for her. This should work in theory. R into it. Get her with that. Get her with that. 
Katarina is not really following up here at all. She's just kind of waiting, I guess. Not sure what she's waiting for. She's waiting for me to get the solo kill. I'd like to stay in dragon form for a little longer. Not sure where Zach's at. He may have moved on to next camp. Seraphine's hovering mid. Their bot lane's perma roaming mid. Could probably get Harold out of that. Cat is going to want to reset. She has kill advantage on. Uh... There's something going on top here. I don't have any CC, so I don't think I could stop it. Don't mind if I do. Nice, I get the kill. I'm surprised my teammates didn't want that. All right, let's get our ult up off of Harold, then we can look for a reset. In a really good spot, got first dragon. Got more CS than Zac now. Really rough start. Things have turned around now that we're six and up. Main mistake I made this game was trying to do too much pre-six. Doing that on Siobhan is a waste of time. Just full clear gank, full clear gank, full clear gank. If you have camp spawning in or camps that are already up and you're doing random stuff, it's not going to be worth it most of the time. Now all we have to do is play around R and play around dragons. Easy. Super straightforward winning con. Get another point in W. Not seeing their mid lane there. She's roaming off somewhere. She just got back to lane, so I can't imagine her resetting. I'll attack Q reset. On on the Q reset, very nice. Yeah, mid's dead. I gotta go hover. Zach's gonna flop over the wall or Malphite or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so Kata flashed. Malphite R. Wild how tight they're playing for the Irelia here. I'm not even going to auto reset before I queue. I just want to get the damage on him before he gets away. He's moving pretty quick. Must have a high base movement speed because I have free boots which are faster than the boots you have to pay for. I'm moving, I think it's 385 when my W is off. It's pretty quick. Yeah, 385, that's up there. That's how fast most champs move with tier 2 boots. I'll go mid here. I have Harold. Could go Ba, Ash is AFK, very cool. Love uh, love seeing that when the, their support's perma roaming. My AD carry's matching that. Hopefully she comes back. I'll attack Q reset. Yeah, I'll take mid turret, I guess. Mid turret's looking pretty juicy right now. It's hard to actually get because Tarek's in the way. His stun just killed those minions there. Go ahead and pick up Nash. And then from here, I would say Hextech Alternator is best. I'll go ahead and even buy the Amp Tome. I want to get back out onto the map. It's worth going into debt for that. This Dragon Fight is going to dictate the game. If we win this fight, there's no way they can come back. If we lose it, we're probably not going to be able to come back. We need it so bad. They also need it too. It's uh, increases shielding and healing. They have a crap load of shielding and healing on their team. Malphite shield, Taric shield, Zach healing, Seraphine healing, Taric healing. They have loads of it. Looks like Zach's coming over here for this. Malphite's kind of late to roam if he's coming. I'm going to take this super, super, super quick. I have the Nash already. Only takes me 15 seconds or whatever. 10 seconds. These guys are turbo pushed. Cat is about to pop off. Down they go. I'm going to stay since I have Harold. Get that down. I don't want to steal her CS per se, but I do want to push the wave.
We are in a hurry. Get as much value out of this herald as we can before it vanishes forever. Yeah, that fight went super poorly for them. Tarek and Seraphine aren't on a power spike yet. They don't even have like, really a full item. So they kind of just need to chill a bit. Auto Q reset. Got the smite on it. Thank you for hitting it, Seraphine. I wasn't going to be able to smite it because they were like 980. The smite's only doing 900. This is a weird fight. I almost have my R up. That was a good Zach. Zach R there. He auto Q. Down he goes. I need to get into dragon form here for the more AoE, more damage. Cat is about to pop off. I can feel it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take this kill. Auto into Q. No, she got it. <laughs> Dang, I really wanted it. I guess I am already full Dark Seal stack. Dark Seal is huge for Shiv. As long as you're playing backline. Waiting for the enemies to use certain abilities before you go in. They can never quite kill you. Because you're barely tanky enough from passive. Plus mobile enough with W. Almost 20 minute mark. Huge power spike for next drag fight from Gathering Storm. Probably go ahead and get Mesh before I finish Night Harvester. I'm in a uh, power position right now. Stay alive and keep getting kills. I'll attack Q reset. Oh, this is weird. I don't like this fight at all. Got him with the E. Got him with the Q. I think I got them. Not sure they're getting blocked a little bit. I do you want this red buff? I shall have it. And I'm going to back for Mej. Oh, I'll actually get Harold before I back to the Zack's dead. Camille's distracting them. I don't think they're going to come for this. Go ahead and grab this free Harold. Their win con is making it into the Ultra Late game where Seraphine and Tarek both have two or three full items. And then just trying to 5v5 team fight. As long as I don't give shutdown and Kata doesn't give shutdown, they're not going to be able to see that dream come true. We have a lot of damage on our team. We have a lot of magic damage and true damage from Ash Kraken and Camille. Whatever her that one move is that does true damage on her. I think it's her Q. All right, we can afford a Night Harvester. Should I just wait for it? Yeah, I'll just wait for it. It's less than 20 gold. That way I don't lose 50 gold. All right, W out of base. I probably should pick up the Demonic this game. They're so tanky with the Zac and Malphite. I could get Demonic next into Rabadon. They're going to start to pick up some Magic Resist. Or I should say they're going to get tankier and tankier. So Demonic will be super valuable. Die! We should get more of their turrets. Once I lay this Herald, I'll try to get an Inhib with it. We'll take Drag first. Aurelia is splitting top, so they are down to give this one up. She doesn't have TP. Let me go ahead and R for this. Oh, I'm dead, aren't I? Oh, okay. I'm actually kind of dodging a lot of it in a weird way. I actually ended up dodging... A lot of that. Okay, I die. That's a shame. We at least get Dragon out of it. It got super messy. I didn't think they were going to full commit. I was trying to poke them down before the team fight, but they were down to pound. They wanted to all in there. Mm, could go for Lucids. It's probably our best move to stay a little bit more mobile. So I don't get picked out. We definitely should have gone for Dragon. 
Drag Souls are win con. Taking this dragon, let's just get the next dragon sooner by delaying this one another minute. It's delaying our win con another minute. Teammates may actually die there. Super far. My R is not going to be up for this dragon fight. It doesn't look like they want it. Like, this would be the time for them to fight because we haven't reset to spend gold yet. My teammates. Turk's wanting to step up to ward. He's not going to find it. This is not a good fight for us. I don't have R. We got to get it off of somebody. Oh, I need to get down those autos. Ash, you just stole it from me. Oh, yep, yeah, I really is dead. <laughs> One Ash auto plus red buff. Boom. There it is. Down goes the Seraphine. Can I catch up to Irelia? Yeah, she's dead. Goodbye, Irelia. Goodbye, Zach. <laughs> Zach trying to chase me. Who does he think he is? I can't get in that fight. Might be able to end here with Harold. I'm in super deep with it. Yeah, we can actually end. They're going to probably FF when I lay it. We can shred the turrets really, really fast with auto acute. It's going to die before Harold even gets used. Yeah, we didn't even need Harold. Harold isn't doing anything. Yeah, Harold literally did nothing, dude. <laughs> We can actually just end the game that quick. That was a fun game. And that's going to do it for this Shivana video. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.